Hello everyone! I hope you're all having a great Sunday, and if not, uh, after seeing this tall brilliancy, you just might. Uh, this game was played in 1972, it was a very strong tournament held in Tsukumi. And uh, well, Tal really had to, had to get a great score here to be able to play in the Chess Olympiad in Skopje in uh, 74. And uh, well, Tal did play a brilliant tournament and with this tournament Tal's uh, undefeated streak uh, started uh, that he had with 84 undefeated games. And uh, well, uh, Mark Taimanov also played in this tournament. Uh, he was still recovering from his uh, terrible loss against Bobby Fischer in the 1971 candidates, uh, that 6-0 uh, loss. And uh, Taimanov actually got third place in this tournament, and he might even got shared first with Tal, uh, but the young 19-year-old uh, Alexander Belyavsky defeated Taimanov. So it was a pretty pretty strong tournament, but Tal was managed uh, Tal managed to, to win it. And uh, this game uh, he's playing against the Hungarian international master Karoli Honfi, uh, who was actually named Grandmaster after his death. Uh, but the game is uh, quite quite amazing as Tal finds a brilliant brilliant bishop sacrifice and uh, well his opponent actually ruins the game by not playing the best defense uh, but we'll get to that so let's see the game uh, Homfi is uh, white and uh, Tal has the black pieces we have e4 so Tal goes for c5 the Sicilian defense knight to f3 knight to c6 uh, d4 c captures on d4 knight captures on d4 and e6 the Taimano variation Knight to c3, a6, uh, bishop to e2, queen to c7, uh, f4, d6, bishop to e3, bishop to e7, uh, queen to d2, preparing queenside castle, uh, knight to f6, and we have castles by Honfi, and uh, Tal exchanges one piece in the center, knight captures on d4, uh, bishop captures on d4, and e5. Uh, bishop back to e3, and uh, Tal goes... Uh, for his expansion on the queen side. He plays b5. Uh, Homfi goes f captures on e5, we have d captures on e5, and now knight to d5. And although this seems like a like a good move for white, uh, it will, Tal will prove otherwise. Tal plays knight captures on d5, uh, we have e captures on d5, and bishop to d6. And with this bishop to d6 move, uh, Tal prevents this pawn from ever going any further, and uh, well, this pawn will will give a lot more trouble to white than it will to black. Uh, we have g4, Honfi goes for the king side expansion, uh, bishop to b7, and the king to b1, uh, moving the king away from this uh, c file. Uh, Tal castles king side, and we have bishop to f3. And in this position, Honfi probably should have went for something like h4 or, or even bishop to d3. Uh, bishop to d3 might definitely be a better idea going for that h7 and uh, Tal can't really capture the d5 pawn if he goes for bishop captures on d7 you get the bishop captures on h7 with check and uh, picking up this uh, well bishop on d5 so bishop to f3 might have been might have been better definitely uh, okay so after Tal castled uh, Honfi played bishop to f3 with the idea of playing bishop to e4 next going for h7 uh, we have a5 by Tal, uh, further expanding on the queen side, now bishop to e4, and well, you can see that this is uh, losing a tempo for nothing, bishop to d3 immediately would have been much better. Uh, Tal goes for b4, and we have queen to g2. And uh, well, it seems like uh, Honfi is, uh, well, he is preparing something on the king side, but it mostly appears that uh, he's overprotecting this d5 pawn, which usually is a good idea, but not, not in this game. Uh, a4 by Tal, and the queen to h3. Honfi is now threatening checkmate on h7, but this isn't really that big of a threat. g6 is played, and uh, well, here uh, probably every player immediately would go for bishop to h6 uh, with an attack on the rook, and then uh, prepare some ideas, maybe how to get your queen to f6 and go for some checkmating ideas. Uh, but uh, Honfi is playing against Tal, and he doesn't want to go for this. He plays the bishop to c1. Uh, getting the bishop to help out with the defense of the king. Uh, Tal plays bishop to a6, uh, we have rook h to e1, and uh, bishop to c4 by Tal, adding one more attacker uh, to the attack. Uh, we have rook to e3, so the rook can help out with the defense, uh, and Tal goes for rook f to c8. Uh, we have queen to g2 now, now uh, Honfi is preparing to push the h-pawn, Although it seems like all his previous moves were really just losing tempos. Uh, we have b3, uh, 
going for breaking open this uh, this pawn structure that is protecting the white king. Uh, C captures some b3, A captures some b3, and A captures some b3. And uh, what do you play here uh, as black? Well, Tal found a, found a brilliant move. Uh, Tal plays bishop to e2. It's it's quite a quite a weird move as it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, but uh, you'll see what Tal's idea was. Uh, now he's opened up this attack uh, from the queen to the c2, and also he has this rook on a8, so covering the entire a file. And uh, Homfi here played actually queen captures on e2, and this is far not by far not the best move. Uh, but we'll get back to this position after I show you the game. And with this move, uh, this is what I meant uh, why Homfi actually uh, ruined Tal's game. Uh, Tal plays queen to a5, now threatening queen to a1 checkmate, uh, rook to c3, now uh, making room for the king so he can escape, uh, queen to a2 with check, uh, king has to go to c2, so king c2, and now rook captures on c3. Uh, this is why the queen uh, gave a check on a2, not on a1, so now this pawn is pinned. Uh, so the king has to capture it, king captures uh, rook on c3, and Tal plays bishop to b4 with check. And uh, well, this is offering another piece. And uh, well, if you don't uh, if you don't accept the bishop, for example, if you play something like king to c2, uh, then you get rook to c8 with the check, and uh, the white king has nowhere to go. You have to give up your queen. And after queen to c4, simply capturing with check, b captures, queen captures, and again your king has nowhere to go. You have to go to b1, and you lose the bishop on e4 with check. And this is completely winning for Tal. Uh, so after bishop to b4, check. Uh, Homfi played king captures on b4 and now queen to a5 with check, uh, forcing the king to go to c4, king c4, and now queen to a6 with check. And this was one of the ideas of Tal's uh, bishop sacrifice, uh, bishop to e2. Uh, he wanted uh, Homfi's queen to be on e2, and uh, well, the king has to move, and uh, well, uh, white loses a queen. Uh, so in this position, uh, Karoli Homfi resigned the game, and it was a, it was a brilliant victory for Tal. Uh, but like I said, I want I want to go back to that uh, position after Tal played bishop to e2, and uh, I want to show you what Tal's idea was if uh, Homfi actually played the best defense here. Uh, the best move uh, for white here is rook to c3, now uh, attacking Tal's queen. And it's very interesting, now Tal's queen is attacked, and also his bishop on e2 is still hanging. So, what was Tal's idea here? Uh, here, Tal's idea was bishop captures on d1, sacrificing his queen on c7. And uh, Caroli really ruined it uh, <laughs> for not going for this rook to c3 move. Uh, rook captures on c7 and rook captures on c7. And uh, what do you play here is white. Uh, Tal's threat is pretty obvious. Rook c to a7 and uh, rook to a1 checkmate. And if you try to defend this, for example, bishop to d2, uh, with idea of maybe bishop to c3 covering up, uh, well, you do get rook uh, c to a7. Now again threatening checkmate on a1, and after king to c1, only move uh, to make room for your bishop to cover up the check, you get rook to a1 with check, uh, bishop to b1, and now bishop captures on b3. And again, what do you play here is white. Uh, well, queen to f3, attacking this bishop, and also preparing some queen f6 and bishop h6 ideas, uh, but you get bishop to a2, and uh, white has nothing to do here. This is completely winning, uh, white is losing another piece here, and well, this is uh, simply too big of a material advantage for, for white to play. So it would have been uh, much much nicer if uh, Homfi played the best defense, but it was, uh, it was a pretty good game nonetheless. Uh, with this king captures on b4, queen a5, and now queen to a6 check, winning the white queen. Uh, but, you know, it's always better to, to give up your queen than to win your opponent's queen, but this is fine as well. So yeah, uh, that's the game, I do hope you enjoyed it, and uh, if you had a bad Sunday, I hope this uh, game improved it. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Garrett Newvert for a contribution to my channel, thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check all my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon.